Amos, you've got a picture of Nemo. What's going yeah, on? This is a question we may ask ourselves in uh, just a couple of decades. Um, so this is not a new, this is not new information uh, so much as the fact that uh, it has not been disputed. It kind of like is not being repeated too often because people just, uh, it, it's not news. That's that's a problem. Right. Uh, but uh, ever since I, th I think this study has been conducted a few years ago. I think maybe 2006. It was another study in 2015, and those are large scale studies, and they are predicting that um, if we don't change anything, uh, salt water fishery will be dead, would be extinct in 2048. Uh, and that's that's of course very alarming. Um, basically, um, the, so far all of the uh, newer research that's been done, and, and let's be clear, it's very difficult to do this kind of research compared to uh, researching extension of uh, insects or uh, birds or whatever uh, you have it. Deep ocean uh, investigation is much more difficult because of it, the accessibility. Uh, so um, they have actually taken on that that last big study that they've done. Uh, they had an analysis of a hundred uh, had thirty two experiments that uh, were done over uh, a wide range of uh, different uh, regions um, for a thousand years of uh, history on 12, 12 coastal regions. After that, they looked at fishery data from 64 large marine ecosystems. And after that, they looked at recovery data from 48 uh, protected ocean areas. So this is like a, a really substantial analysis that they've done. That's not some kind of a little study. It's been a cooperation between uh, universities in the US and the UK and so forth. Um, and uh, so far, it's not that it's something predicted, it's something that's already happening. So uh, from a commercial perspective of uh, food uh, production, 29% of, uh, of edible fish, edible seafood, is already, uh, have already declined by 90%. And that's, if those numbers don't hit you over the head, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. Uh, this is already what's what's happened, and we're we're just looking at uh, the future, and uh, interpolating all this data. Um, so, and it's not that the loss of species is just gradually, slowly happening; it's just accelerating. It's faster and faster, and um, the more we wait, the more difficult it's going to be able to reverse that inertia. Absolutely, absolutely. And this is the most depressing slide you've got in here. <laughs> That's actually my slide of hope because uh, <laughs> <laughs> one percent. I, I didn't want everybody to come out with a complete uh, meltdown here. So, uh, though the ocean is protected by one percent at this current time, uh, there's. There's still hope, and, and that is based on uh, research that's been done about uh, declining fisheries around the U.S. and so forth. After uh, fishing and, and some other uh, means have been taken to, to, uh, to reduce the die-off, and the, the, uh, what the lessons are that the oceans are much more resilient than, uh, than we feared. So th there's still hope. We can... We we can, we have a, an outside chance uh, of avoiding a complete extension of uh, all uh, seawater uh, species. And uh, I, I guess that's what we have to uh, count on in terms of optimism right now. We have an outside chance of preventing the death of our ocean, basically. Ooh. Yes, we've been so hard at work as destroying it, and we're still marching in that direction that uh, even such a strong force of, of uh, revival and, and, and survival by nature is, is, is a question. I, I, I'm not sure if there's anybody uh, nowadays that can uh, say for sure that uh, we're 
that we could reverse it if, if we wanted to, but we have as a species of hope, we have to believe in that. We've, there's always this discussion of uh, 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 right-wing people, uh, uh, climate change deniers that say, well, uh, there's, there's always been uh, dire uh, warnings and that's not uh, come to pass. Uh, they bring up the uh, the example of the ozone layer, for example, and the fact that the ozone layer is is uh, getting uh, repaired and in um, in May we may be out of danger with that by the 2080s is just a testimony to the fact that we can reverse change, and the fact that we banned uh, aerosols and so forth has has done a great deal of uh, of uh, help basically so that's that's yeah uh, so the the two idiot arguments i've always heard are the ozone's getting better and the oceans really haven't risen as much as they claim they're going to and it's like and neither one of those two things are factor in the climate crisis right now you know right but it's, but what i'm saying is that uh, the example of the ozone layer is yeah. just the, the reverse of what they're trying to make out of it uh it's not an example of uh, a, 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 a false warning uh, it's it's an example of the fact that we were able to do, take measures to to curb that disaster, uh, and, and we could we could do the same with regards to the ocean and with regards to global climate change. But we have to have that uh, that revolutionary uh, change in the industry and, and uh, the force behind it. Or a time popular machine. Force behind. More a time machine. We're probably better off with the force. You're right, though. There's a good report. Uh, and, and, you know, I've seen that with the 2048, with the fisheries, and it's they're being pushed a lot now. Um, so what are they going to... What What do you guess they're going to suggest for a solution? Stop eating so much fish? I guess that's going to be the next thing out of the Guardian. How humans well, need to stop eating fish to save our oceans. Right? Well, there's, there's been suggestions, and not necessarily a bad idea, but it's not... Uh, an old saving idea is to to eat more invasive species, right? Uh, <laughs> right. But you know, you know, it's not the point. They always go for a band aid on a bullet wound, right? Right. Like, so it's, yeah. Anyway, it's it came up like eat the fish. It's like the 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 eating of you know the, the invasive species. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. That's a little backwards. Thank you, Almas. Good, good report. I like that. Nice pictures. Depressing, but nice pictures. Shit. Yep. 